Well, there are a lot of staples that make New York City such an iconic place, from the Empire State Building to, of course, the traditional yellow taxis. So many sites could be considered symbols of the great city in the world, the greatest city in the world. Yes, well, one of those Monday Night Icons is uh, an inspiration for one local creator. For the last 20 years, Thomas McKean's been specializing in making art entirely out of Metro cards. But this is an art form with an expiration date. Photojournalist Darren McQuaid has his story from the East Village. Woodlawn, approaching the station, please stand away from the platform edge. Wonderful commonality of New Yorkers. We're all riding this old subway together. There is something fun about everybody swiping and occasionally cursing when it didn't work. I'm Thomas McKeon, and I have the privilege of being a native New Yorker. I always say, they let me stay. <laughs> well, I'm an artist. It kind of gives them this mystical quality. would have no idea it was made from Metro cards. Every little Metro card is a, a little story of New York. I do a lot of work using found objects. And the primary one for many years has been the, the Metro card. The sketch first. Cut the angle, put it on. It always gets stopped up, then glue it down. The well-known Greek coffee cup that you get in, in bodegas. So I'm using one iconic New York piece, the Metro card, to make an image of another. I sort of became a human 3D printer. I would just build up, build up, build up, layer by layer. And then I began making objects, actual buildings, cars. I do remember when they introduced them, I thought this will never work. And I hated them and I kept using tokens to the bitter end, not realizing that I would fall in love with a Metro card and spend over 20 years using it to create art. I have to be patient, <laughs> otherwise I'd have gone insane years ago. It came about, I was, I was riding the subway. I idly began wondering, well, how many, how many words can I make out of the word MetroCard? And I had no clue where it would lead me at the time. This is a book I put together of 60 redesigned MetroCards. It's amazing what you find when you look down. These are using the special editions, so there's the purple, the red, the green. So I would go down to the subway station and it would be littered with Metro cards. And I'd be on my hands and knees feeling jubilant, scooping them up, putting them in my pockets. The Empire State Building, which I see from my window, and I walk around and I see, oh, I can make a picture of that. There we go. If you're patient and don't mind uh, cutting things up and regluing them, there's really no end to what you can come up with. I have a website, which I should have had years ago, and attached to it is an online store. The Metro card in this poor little thing is being entirely phased out and being replaced with something they're calling the Omni card. Ugh, it weighs a ton. Luckily, I have a large box filled with them. This is my stash of Metro cards. This is what I have left to work with. But I go through them very quickly. So I tell myself that you know, when it's done, it's done. I've had a very, very good time with it. I think I have enough for another year or two. And when it's over, it's over. <laughs> 